let's find out how you get here from here. So we're going to see a lot of blue and color spill all around this baby and all through the white. We've got a lot, a lot of yellow going on, which you will notice is a lot in skin tones. So we're going to definitely do some spot correcting to get it to here. So first thing I'm going to do is reset the image. We're going to come all the way down to the lens correction and we're going to enable lens correction. What that's going to do is it's going to add uh, more of an airy edge and we're going to actually bring up the vignetting. Now we're going to fixate on the little details. So we're going to make sure it's sharp and that masking is up. And then now we're going to play in the HSL panel. So what we're trying to do is remove all that aqua, the blue and purple, magentas, things that aren't typically found in skin tone. You can see how much blue was just there. And you'll see that there's a lot of orange here, but orange and yellow is actually part of our skin tone. So we're going to leave that one alone for now. I'm going to go ahead and close all of these up. And then we're going to head on up to the... Um, tone curve and the basic. So here is where I start off um, doing more of my light editing. So I'll bump everything that I need to. I'll make sure that the exposure is where I want it. And then um, the dehaze and clarity, I kind of usually leave them alone. If anything, if it's a newborn, I will go in and I will um, drop the clarity a little bit. But for this one, it's fine. So if you pull that little dot in the middle up what you're doing is essentially you're pulling up the midtones and here you're kind of playing with the shadows and then the highlights um, anything further from the middle is gonna be either one so if I toggle these little triangles up here it's gonna show me pure white and pure black and I'm trying to avoid that now we're gonna play with a brush which is actually gonna do the most um, change i guess to the image um we're going to bring down the clarity uh quite a bit we're gonna bring down the saturation almost all the way just kind of playing with it uh by ear and then we also have auto mask on which is super important so we avoid that skin tone and then the flow is at 100 and density is at 100 and we're going to be brushing this on everywhere trying to avoid the skin but that auto mask will help us um, in not letting that kind of affect the skin tone and we're going to do this in layers so now this time we're going to do the saturation at a negative 100 we're going to play with the shadows a little bit more to brighten them um, and as you see the layering technique is a lot better than just going in all at once and it looks a lot more natural um, I'm going to continue to do this over the next few moments and I'll go ahead and speed that up. If we toggle the brush mask on and off, we can see how much it's actually changed the overall feel of the image. And just with the brushes alone, it's definitely added more of an airy and clean effect and that's it guys that's how you get a perfect airy bright white um hashtag white house <laughs> uh white aesthetic photograph from a not so great situation i hope you learned something new and i will talk to you guys soon bye